Hi, welcome to the Expert Showcase Special Edition. My name is Kevin Short. I am the lead writer for Watchdogs, and I'm here to answer some questions from the Wikia community. BTGR. Okay, you're asking about the music in Watch Dogs. It makes sense. If you're in Chicago, you sh you'd want to hear some music that's appropriate to Chicago. Sure enough, our sound department's gone through a big effort to get a whole bunch of Chicago-based music. So when you play the game, you're going to be able to hit the radio and select your songs, select your playlist, and a lot of the songs, a lot of the songs are uh, from Chicago. It affects it quite a bit. When you hack people, you can you have a profiler, and you can scan people, and you'll you'll get information on people. And that information that uh, that you get can affect the way you play the game. There's no hard effect in the sense that the story is going to change based on uh, you hacking. We pretty much stuck to a, a clear single story that we want to give all the players the same story, so that they can all have the same discussion at the end of the game around the same idea. But when you hack people, you're going to see different information. And so that could affect what you do. And I've watched players choose who they're going to steal money from. Now they're going to cho choose this one. No, he's unemployed. This, this person, nah, she's got cancer. And she's, you don't, want to, you don't want to hack from her. Oh, this guy, oh, he's a CEO. I'll hack him. Now that's entirely players deciding that. I, I personally would, I'd hack anybody. <laughs> unemployed taking your money. But it's, it really is, it comes down to player choice. How, how the players feel and their impressions of what they're reading in the profile uh, affects decisions that they make. And I think that's a real plus. What, what is doing, uh, the great thing it's doing in the game is it's turning NPCs, which we usually see in games, just filler. You know, they, they make the world seem alive. But what we've done is by giving them a profile with so much detail, we're kind of turning them into real characters. It's particularly interesting when you're in combat. And there was one instance I remember, I was coming up to this guy behind him and he didn't see me. And he was the guy looking for me, trying to kill me. And when I came around the corner, it immediately said he was a newlywed. And just in an instant, I was like, oh, it changed my perception of this guy who normally it's like, oh, he's a, he's a certain class of enemy and that's all you think of them as. But uh, in Watch Dogs, we're bringing that extra step and kind of humanizing these characters. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to change your strategy. Like, it doesn't mean you're going to let him go. But maybe it means you're going to take him down as opposed to killing him. Things like that. We're making a game that has to be, you know, we have to make sure that it, that it works as a game. That, that you can, it's optimized for your driving and for your gameplay. But we had to make sure that the vibe of Chicago is right, that it feels like Chicago. And we spent a lot of time in Chicago. That meant a few things. We sent our art team to Chicago, our level designers went to Chicago. They spent a lot of time touring it, taking photos. I had my whole writing team go down there with the sound team. We recorded a lot of the voices, all the voices you hear in the streets, all from Chicago. And that, those little bits are going to help players connect with it and realize they're in Chicago. There are certain areas, like the Loop, very faithful to Chicago. Mag Mile, in our game it's called Mad Mile, but you'll feel, if you know Chicago, you'll be very familiar with that area. You'll recognize that you know, we've taken steps to, to draw those lines and, and make you feel like you're in Chicago. But there are areas that are more, the vibe is there as opposed to the streets. And that was what was most important for us, is to make sure that we've got a, a world that's, that's playable and, and, it, and it feels like Chicago. Thanks, Wikia community. It was great answering your questions, and I, uh, Look forward to you guys getting the game in your hands and posting all your YouTube uh, video of your you guys hacking away like crazy.